Hey guys, it's Carrie. Welcome back to my channel and happy Wednesday night. Hope you guys had a great day today. It is time for part, uh, yeah, <laughs> I had to think, three, part three of my All About the Empties from November. Um, if you have been watching, I have uploaded part one, part two, and I have said that my November empties, I have no idea why. Maybe it's because of the holidays, but I went through so much wax that this empties has become a um, multi-parter. <laughs> A multi-parter so we are now on part three I am going to try my hardest to finish up the wax in this video it may have to go to a part four we'll just see um, okay so enough chit chat I have my bag here let's get into the video okay no rhyme or reason I'm just pulling things out of my bag and we will see what we get when we get it all right first up is a clamshell this is from oak and rye Oak and Rye, um, those are the ones that I buy at Kroger along with my Tuscany. I love Oak and Rye. Oh my goodness, they are like great performers, very, very strong. Um, this one here was in Vanilla Pumpkin Cream. Um, yeah, so strong. I mean, these guys are like just as strong on warm as they are on cold. This one here was okay. Um, Nothing like bad against oak and rye, but this scent was not my favorite. Um, I love me some pumpkin scents. This one was a little bit too sweet. Um, I'm learning that when it comes to pumpkin scents, I like sweet pumpkin scents, but not as much as I like like spicy pumpkin scents. And this one was just a little too sweet for me. So I will keep you know purchasing oak and rye, but probably not this particular scent. Okay, next clamshell is from The Burning Mitten. If you saw my part one, part two, um, I had said that it looks like I went through my entire Burning Mitten collection um, because when I purchased my last you know, collection from The Burning Mitten, they were all fall scents, pumpkin scents, um, so November was a good time for me to, to use them up. This was Mary Sanderson. Um, autumn wreath sweet pumpkin and fallen leaves yeah this one was okay I love the burning mitten again you know another vendor that performs great for me um, this scent I don't know if it was the autumn wreath or maybe it was the fallen leaves but there was one you know scent note in this that was just yeah a little bit too outdoorsy um, but as far as performance it was great uh, still on the burning mitten. This was a scent shot in The Devil Went Down to Georgia. And the scent notes on this, um, marshmallow fireside, Georgia peach, brown sugar pecans, and red hot cinnamon. Yeah, I was really intrigued on the peach and the brown sugar because I thought, ooh, it's going to smell like, you know, a peach crumble or a peach cobbler. And it I didn't get any of that. I mainly just got marshmallow fireside and red hot cinnamon which, you know, those are two scents that I love, but when I was expecting like the peach, I didn't get the peach. So I was a little bit bummed about that one. Okay. Um, okay, clamshell here from Goose Creek. Um, this was in Dreaming of Autumn. Now, in my last Goose Creek haul, um, there were two scents that I got both of them kind of like leafy outdoorsy scents. One of them I absolutely adored and the other one not so much. This one was the not so much. Uh, this was Dreaming of Autumn. In Goose Creek they don't put their scent notes on the front so I'm not able to tell you what was in this one and I don't remember. Um, but there was just something in this one that was a little off-putting to my nose. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's just, there was something in this that just did not give me autumn vibes at all. Um, like, 
a floral note. That's what I smelled. So yeah, not a fan of that one. Wouldn't repurchase that one. We'll get to the other one in here in a second of the one that I loved. Okay, uh, Clamshell Mainstays from Walmart in Mold Cider. I believe either in part one or part two, I emptied out another one of Mold Cider. Yeah, nothing to say um, other than I love it. <laughs> um, there are some mainstays that I don't really enjoy and I don't get great performance from, but this Mold Cider, it's a really good Mold Cider. In fact, it's like a very real, genuine, mold cider, what mold cider should smell like. And yeah, love it. We'll always get that. Oh, this one here. Better Homes and Gardens, Vanilla and Caramel Spice, you guys. Vanilla, cinnamon, clove, nutmeg, caramel, brown sugar, and toffee. I can honestly say, as of the making of this video, what is today? December the 7th, 2022. Um, this is my favorite scent from Better Homes and Gardens, hands down. And there might be another one that comes out in the future that will, you know, trump this one. But right now, this is it for me as far as Better Homes and Gardens goes. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I love it. I love it. I love it. Because I get the vanilla, like there's just this creaminess from the vanilla, but then there's all those spices, like the brown sugar, the toffee, the nutmeg. Next time you're in Walmart and you're in the wax melt aisle, please go find this and smell it. And I mean, you may not like it as much as I do, but I think you will because it's just that good. <laughs> so I will always purchase this one. Okay. More clamshells here. Uh, again, from the Burning Mitten. This was Dust Thou Comprehend. Pumpkin Spice Latte, Butterscotch Whipped Cream, and Pumpkin Pie Spice. Um, this one was really, really good. Um, and I think it was the Butterscotch that added just like a different kind of depth dimension. Ooh, it was good, good. I love Butterscotch in wax. And I didn't always, but lately I just, yeah, it just, mmm. It adds something that just makes it so delicious. So this one was a good one. Okay, I think it was the previous video, part two, when I had mentioned this Etsy shop, uh, Scotland Scents, and I ordered from Scotland Scents last year, so before I started making videos, so I wasn't able to do like an initial um, video, but yeah, I have enjoyed everything that I've melted from them. Most of what I had in my collection from them um, was like Christmas holiday scents. This was in gingerbread and it was yummy. I had this in my kitchen and like my whole kitchen just smelled of gingerbread. Very, very good. A very good gingerbread scent. Okay. Oh, okay. I pulled it out. So excited. All right. So I have two here, both from Goose Creek. This one is Toasty Pumpkin Toddy. Now, I, for the life of me, cannot like think of what the alcohol note is in a hot toddy. I wanna say it's rum, maybe not rum. Is it bourbon? I don't know. But there is definitely an alcohol note in this. And I know I'm contradicting myself because I say all the time, I don't like alcohol notes, I don't like boozy notes. This is like the exception to that rule for me. <laughs> um, I get this from Goose Creek every fall season because it's just so good. This is like the epitome of a cold autumn fall night when it's really, really cold outside. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, like the boozy note does come through, very much so. Um, but so does like that pumpkin. Oh, this is like, it just envelops you in just the best, warm, comforting hug. And I really, really like it. Yeah, toasty pumpkin toddy. Okay, so this one is the one from Goose Creek that I fell in love with on Cold Sniff and I loved it on Warm. This is Pile of Leaves. Now, I'm assuming because this is like a fall, oh yeah, 
autumn scent, you know, that they're not going to sell this year round. If they sold this year round, I would, I would have it in my stash. Um, I will be getting this every fall though, because you guys, <laughs> it is, <sighs> yeah, I mean, I guess it is outdoorsy, but there is like a sweetness to it. And maybe that's, Maybe that's how I can do leaf scents. Maybe I'm learning that I need it to be a little bit sweeter. Because um, when I first smelled this on um, Cold Sniff, I was like, there is something in this that is sweet that I'm like loving. And I went back and I found out it was pine. There was like a, a sweet pine note. Oh, you guys, this is so, so good. Yeah, so it is an outdoorsy scent, but it's a sweet outdoorsy scent. And I guess it's coming from the pine, maybe. I need to get back on the website and see if I can rediscover the scent notes for this one, because it is really, really good. It's pile of leaves. Okay, speaking of leaves, uh, this was a clamshell, Sensationals from Walmart in Fallen Leaves. This was Crisp Air, Citrus, and Wood. Um, and this one was okay. Um, this was one that I, I can handle, um, again, because there's a sweetness. And I'm assuming it's coming from the citrus because there was like a little bit of, of like an orangey note. I mean, not like punch you in the face, you know, orange, but enough to kind of sweeten it up. Um, I smelled more citrus than I did wood on this one. So that one was okay. Okay, Dexter Pores. Still don't know what happened to them. I guess they're gone. Makes me kind of sad. Um, this was a clamshell in zucchini bread, just straight up zucchini bread. And you know, very rarely do I get just plain old zucchini bread. Most of the time, if I get zucchini bread, it's blended in with something. Um, but occasionally, I'll just get simple zucchini bread. Um, because I like to, you know, compare all these vendors because everybody does their zucchini bread a little bit differently. Um, this one was really good. It was not corn chippy. Um, it really wasn't spicy. It was just real creamy and it was good. Um, if I remember correctly, I did melt this like on its own and then I also used a couple of cubes as blenders. So worked really well. Okay, I have a bakery bag here from Delectable Plaid. Um, these are the little bags that she sells. The owner's name is Jessica, I believe. Um, that she sells on her website. At least when I ordered them, they were $5. Not sure if she's gone up on that price. Um, but I thought $5 was very, very reasonable for all what you got in this bag. You got, I think, six melts. Um, yeah. And this was in spiced zucchini strudel, warm zucchini bread, sweet cinnamon, and spiced strudel. Um, this was good. I will say that Delectable Plaid has a very good zucchini bread and very good like pumpkin. She does those things in bakery very, very well. So yeah, this was good. And you know, moving on in the future, when I do order from Delectable Plaid, I will continue to get these little bags because I think they're a great deal for all of the wax that you get. Okay, just checking my time. Okay, um, back to the burning mitten. Yeah, I do think I just cleaned out my burning mitten uh, collection. This was in What's a Ghoul to Do? And this was Mac Apple, Zucchini Bread, Marshmallow Frosting, and Vanilla Bean Noel. Oh yes, this was amazing. Um, very heavy on the Mac Apple um, with a little bit of the zucchini bread in the background. It was it was really, really nice. Really enjoyed that one. Another clamshell from the Burning Mitten. This was uh, Where My Witch Is At. Cider Lane, Whipped Cream, and Vanilla Bean Noel. Again, oh yeah, that Cider Lane. It was interesting because um, the Mac Apple and the Cider Lane, they smelled very similar to me and I thought Correct me if I'm wrong, but I thought Mac Apple and Cider Lane are like totally different. Are they not? Maybe they're similar. I thought they were supposed to be different, but I might be wrong. Um, but they smelled very similar to me. 
in these clamshells, but they were still really, really good. Okay, the Burning Mitten Scent Shot in Red Cup Season. This was a peppermint mocha scent. Oh my goodness, it was so good. And this was poured um, January of last year, 2021. So this is almost a two-year-old scent shot. And you guys, it was so strong through like crazy, took over my whole downstairs. My whole downstairs just <laughs> smelled like a Starbucks peppermint mocha. It was so good, so good. Yes, loved it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> all right, Sensationals Walmart pumpkin spice. You guys have seen this before in an empty video that I've done. Um, I will say, so you already know my favorite Better Homes and Gardens, vanilla and caramel spice. This right here is my favorite sensationals. Yeah, without a doubt. Because to me, this is what pumpkin spice should smell like. I mean, I just, ugh, I love it. This is something I could melt year round um, because it's just so good. It is a little bit spicy, but it's not like red hot cinnamon spicy. So anybody could do this and I really think you would enjoy it. It's so good. And whenever I do buy this particular scent, I always get the bigger clamshell um, because I go through it like, yeah, love it. We'll always buy that one. Okay, Better Homes and Gardens. Uh, this was a new one that I just decided to try on a whim. It was apple and spiced pound cake. Now this one, I was not the biggest fan of. Um, and I thought I would be because of the scent notes, nutmeg, cinnamon, clove, apple, pound cake, and brown sugar. Um, there was something off-putting, and I'm thinking maybe it was the pound cake. It just, I don't know. It just was not pleasing to my nose. Um, so yeah, not a repurchase for me. I'm just checking the time. Okay, I'm gonna do maybe three more little things here. And then you guys, I am so close to the bottom of my bag. So this will be a four-parter, but I can for sure finish this up tomorrow. So bear with me. <laughs> Okay, clamshell here. This is from Kroger. This is um, the brand that I mentioned called Estate. Never heard of them before. I haven't seen them anywhere else except for Kroger. Um, this was in Turning Leaves. And this, this was okay. It's so funny because, you know, I just mentioned how I like kind of the sweeter outdoorsy leaf scents. This was maybe too sweet. Like, I swear I smelled orange juice in this. <laughs> it was orangey, but a little bit too much. So not a repurchase for me on that one. Uh, the Burning Mitten Pumpkin Chai. Oh, you guys. Okay, so when I started out on my wax journey, I was not a fan of chai. I am a fan of chai now. I love to drink it. In fact, today I had a Christmas spiced chai when I was out running errands. You guys, it's so good. It is so good. It is spicy. So if you're not a spice fan, I don't think you would enjoy chai in your wax um, because this one was spicy. This was a cinnamon chai latte. So it was like a double whammy of spice from the chai, from the cinnamon, but I absolutely loved it. All right, we're gonna finish up with this a little six pack here from that smell good shop. This was in frosted grams, uh, old fashioned graham crackers and sweet icing. So I've said before that rarely do I get a light one from that smell good shop. <laughs> you know, and I've joked that even her lighter ones are strong. So this one was light, but it was still good. I don't know if that makes sense because yeah, Wendy at that smell good shop, like, even her light stuff performs really, really well. And I'm guessing maybe just because of the scent notes, like graham crackers, I guess that's just not a strong scent with the sweet icing. So it was good. It was just a lighter bakery scent, but you know my love for that smell good shop. I will always continue to buy from her. 
All right, so I'm going to stop. I'm almost to 20 minutes. That's a good stopping point for me. And then tomorrow, part four, we will finish up with the wax, candles, some other goodies, and then I think I'll be done. <laughs> Now that it's like mid-December, I'm finally going to finish up with my empties. Thank you guys so much for being patient and being a part of my channel. If you haven't already subscribed, it's not too late. I would love for you to do that. Hit that like button and come back and see me next time. Y'all have a great rest of your Wednesday night and I'll see you for the next one, you guys, probably tomorrow. Y'all have a good night. Bye.